Yo guys, welcome to our channel today. The channel is Nazvin. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, kindly, I want to give you two seconds, five seconds, that you get uh, to subscribe. The five seconds starts now. Thank you. So today we are going to discuss about something also very sensitive. We are going to talk about uh, male fertility. And I am going to give you the 12 foods which boost male fertility naturally. Sit back and watch. We're talking about boosts male fertility naturally with these 12 foods. So I am going to mention the 12 foods. And I'm going to talk something small about uh, male fertility. So guys, I enjoy the video. So when we talk about uh, male fertility, we talk about and how we manage uh, male fertility. It involves holistic approach that includes dietary changes, lifestyle modifications, and if necessary, medical interventions. So, I'm going to give you the, na the natural way of managing fertility and then I will talk about also other management for male fertility apart from the food. But our focus will be on the 12 foods which boost the male fertility naturally. So, when we talk about boosting male fertility, uh, naturally can be achieved through a balanced diet rich in uh, specific uh, nutrients known to support the sperm health and overall reproductive function. So here are the 12 foods that can help improve male fertility. Number one food which we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about uh, oysters. Oysters is rich in zinc. And uh, from our previous video on zinc, I did a, a video simply on zinc. Zinc is a, a crucial, uh, is very crucial for sperm production, so and the testosterone levels. So there is a big role of zinc. Kindly, if you have not watched our video on zinc, kindly go back and watch the zinc, uh, uh, zinc, zinc uh, video. I talked that it is role in testosterone and also in male reproductive. Uh, reproduction. So oysters are very rich in uh, these uh, uh, are rich in zinc which plays a very important role for sperm production and also testosterone levels. So the oysters, uh, now when I talk about oysters I'm talking O-Y-S-T-E-R-S they are the, uh, the best dietary sources for zinc so that they help in uh, which help in uh, reproduction. Number two is a, one, it's a, a number two so, uh, food we talk about is what we call uh, walnuts. Walnuts they are rich in omega three fatty acids, and the walnuts contain high level of omega three fatty acids, which can improve uh, sperm count and also quality and also motility of the sperms. Number three is ducky, leafy uh, greens or vegetables. And when we talk about this, uh, folate, uh, like uh, the, so the, 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 these greeny, dark, leafy green uh, vegetables, they call, like uh, when we talk about vegetables like spinach, kale, Swiss card are high in folate. And folate is very essential for DNA synthesis and uh, sperm health. So folate from the dark here, leafy greens, it's really helpful to in uh, matters uh, product, uh, reproduction. So because they contain uh, high content of folate, which is very essential in the formation uh, for DNA synthesis and also sperm health. Number four is citrus fruits. So citrus fruits are very high in vitamin C. So or, uh, and when we talk about these sources, we're talking about oranges, we're talking about lemons, we're talking about uh, grapefruits, 
and other citrus fruits are rich in vitamin C, which protects sperm from oxidative damage and improves uh, sperm quality. So citrus fruits high in vitamin C, which and the, and the high content of vitamin C protects sperm from oxidative process or damage and also improves the sperm quality. Number five is pumpkin seeds, very surprising. Pumpkin seeds are very essential. Uh, we, when we talk about uh, pumpkin seeds, they contain zinc and uh, antioxidants. So pumpkin seeds are a good source of zinc and uh, antioxidants, so which support sperm health and the sterone. So guys, take these pumpkin seeds and then just prepare these uh, pumpkin seeds for your men for to improve uh, to protect to improve their sperm health and also improve the sterone levels. Number six, we talk about berries. Uh, berries are high in antioxidants, and when we talk about berries, I'm talking about strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. They are rich. Uh, they are very high. Uh, they contain a high level of antioxidants that protect sperm from damage and improve motility. And when we talk about motility of the sperms, that's when they are rejected from the testes. Uh, they can easily come out and uh, they can easily swim. That's the motility to the ova where they can fertilize the lady so that you get uh, to get, uh, get that baby or get uh, pregnant. <coughs> Number seven is garlic. Garlic uh, contains high level of what you call selenium and also vitamin B6. So garlic uh, contains sel uh, selenium and vitamin B6, which are very important for maintaining healthy sperm and also function. So garlic is very important because it contains selenium and vitamin B6, which are important for maintaining sperm health and also production, uh, sperm production, and also uh, function. Number eight is, is uh, when we're talking about the fatty, fatty fish. Uh, and when we talk about fatty fish, we're talking thing, things like uh, salmon, mackerel, and also sadness, uh, which are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. So because fatty fish contains high level of omega-3 fatty acids, the, these uh, uh, omega-3 fatty acids help uh, Im improve uh, the sperm morphology. And when we talk about uh, the sperm morphology, we're talking about the head, because the sperm has the head and the tail, and there's a way that tail should be. So uh, the omega-3 fatty acids help in the formation in this sperm morphology and also motility, how the sperm looks and how motility, how it moves to get uh, uh, to the ova where one can get uh, uh, fatal, where one can get conception or get to impregnant that lady. So number nine is tomatoes. Tomatoes, yes, tomatoes. I can see some of you are surprised. Tomatoes, they are very important also because uh, they, con they contain what we call lycopene or lycopene whichever way you pronounce it lycopene by lycopene i mean l-y-c-o-p-e-n-e -E, lycopene so tomatoes are rich in lycopene and uh, it is an, a very important antioxidant that can be that has, uh, from the studies which has, uh, have taken place it has been seen to improve sperm count and also morphology Number 10 is uh, eggs, yes, eggs, eggs, yes, eggs, e, e double G, S. So they contain high protein and the vitamins. Egg, uh, eggs are a good source of protein, especially the first class proteins. So, uh, and also vitamin B12 and selenium, all of which are very essential for health sperm production. So eggs high in proteins and vitamins. Eggs are a good source of proteins and uh, vitamin B12 and selenium, all of which are essential for health sperm production. Number 11 is Brazil nuts. Yes, Brazil nuts. 
Brazil nuts contain high level of uh, selenium. Uh, the Brazil nuts are extremely rich in selenium, a mineral that improves palm motility and also overall palm health. So Brazil nuts, yes, Brazil nuts are very important because they contain high level of uh, selenium which improves palm motility and also overall palm health. And last but not least is what we call uh, pomegranates, Pro pomegranates, pomegranates, yes, pomegranates. These are special uh, fruits. P pomegranates, I mean P O M E G R A N A T E S. Uh, pomegranates. So they contain, they have a high level of uh, antioxidants. So pomegranates contain high level of uh, antioxidants which improve uh, sperm quality and increase in turn increase the sterone, le the, the sterone levels which is very essential for male fertility. So by incorporating the 12 foods I've talked about into your diet this can naturally boost your male fertility by improving sperm count and quality and also motility at the end of the day. So a balanced diet rich in these nutrients uh, uh, combined with a healthy lifestyle can significantly enhance uh, reproductive health or reproduction of a man and also we, when combined with regular exercise, adequate sleep, stress management, this can also play a very crucial role in overall fertility of a man. So guys, those are the 12 foods we, we've talked about which uh, naturally promote your fertility as a man. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a very important uh, aspect to naturally improve your uh, fertility at the end of the day. So the channel is Nas Vincent or Nas Vin. Uh, in short, my name is Vincent. Uh, Vincent uh, is a, is a nurse by profession. Uh, so these things we we give here in this in this our studies, they are evidence based. So and also we compare them with the researches which have been done so that we get the best out of these uh, uh, videos. Guys, welcome and I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace and we love you very much. Yes, guys, number 10 is about reduced quality of life where overall decline in quality of life uh, uh, due to physical emotional and social consequences of fertility it can really affect it can be one of the complications so it affects the quality of life number 11 is about the impact on sexual function so erectile dysfunction uh, reduced libido and also other sexual dysfunction issues stemming from the stress and psychological effects of the fertility challenges can also become another challenge Number 12, last but not least, is certain is the health risks because certain fertility treatments or medications can carry uh, health risks or side effects, potentially impacting the long term uh, health and the well being of uh, that man. So, in management of these complications, I've stated the 12 uh, complications. I've talked about the health, health risks because of the kind of procedures done. They can predispose a man to other conditions, impact on the sexual function because of the psychological effect on it. So stress and psychological effects of fertility changes, they can lead to erectile dysfunction uh, on the men. Also, number, another, another, another complication is reduced quality of life, impact on masculinity. I've talked about the risk of mental health disorders, uh, mental co medical complications also. Uh, uh, we have financial burden because of the, pro the procedures to correct this infertility in men 
can be very expensive. Social stigma can come in, low self-esteem, relationship strain, uh, psychological distress and infertility as a complication, uh, they are very obvious. So managing complications uh, related to male fertility can be very uh it can be very big can be very big issues so it requires comprehensive approach that addresses both physical emotional and social aspects of well-being so seeking support from healthcare provider or professionals counselors uh, or support groups can help the individuals navigate the challenges associated with the fertility struggles and improve coping strategies because open communication is very important and also mutual support within the intimate relationships are very essential to help mitigate the impact of fertility related complications on the mental health of the individual. How can we prevent these uh, complications? Preventing complications related to fertility issues involves proactive uh, measures aimed at uh, maintaining reproductive health and overall uh, well being of an individual. So, the key strategies uh, which uh, can prevent the fertility issues, number one is about health lifestyle habits. And when we talk about health lifestyle habits, we're talking about balanced diet, where we were encouraged to consume uh, diet rich in fruits, uh, vegetables, whole grain, lean proteins, and healthy fats to support overall health and fertility. Number two is about hydration, seven to eight glasses of water in a day. Drink plenty of water to maintain hydration and support uh, sperm production. Number three on the on these healthy lifestyle habits is moderate exercise so that you don't strain a lot. Engage in regular physical activity to maintain a healthy weight and promote optimal reproduction, reproductive function. Number two is about avoid environmental toxins. And when we talk about avoiding environmental toxins, you limit exposure to toxins. Uh, in, like pet pesticides, pollutants, and the chemical that may disrupt hormonal balance and impair fertility at the end of the day. Number two is about uh, protective gear. So use protective gear and follow safety protocols for those who are working in, with hazardous uh, substances or engaging in activities that may expose you to harmful chemicals or radiation. Number three is about regular healthy checkups, your routine exams. Schedule regular checkups with the healthcare provider to monitor the productive health and address any concerns or symptoms uh, promptly. Also, screening te screen tests should, should undergo screening of sexually transmitted infections other, uh, and other conditions so which may affect your health. Number four is the health habits. Number one is about quitting smoking, limiting uh, uh, alcohol, and also managing your stress because these things affect, uh, they can reduce your, uh, you, they can really uh, stress, uh, get you into problems. Like uh, 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 smoking uh, is has been seen to impact the sperm quality and overall fertility. Alcohol affects, impairs sperm production and the testosterone levels. And also stress also affects the, uh, the they also affect your reproductive, your reproductive health. So by reducing the stress, you get your uh, reproductive health to be uh, put into check. Also, maintain health weights as a way of avoiding the fertility issues. So weight management is very important. By maintaining health weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise, such as uh, to avoid obesity, which can negatively affect sperm quality and also monobalance, especially the testosterone. Protective measures, always use protection. We're talking about safe sex, use protective, always use protection. Avoid overheating, avoid prolonged exposure to high temperatures such as hot tubs or saunas, which can temporarily reduce sperm production. So men take note of that as a protective measure. Number seven, seek support. So like I said, this, is, this June is a man uh, mental health uh, month so with this uh, consider uh, open communication men so communicate openly with your partner about fertility concerns and seek support from loved ones or healthcare professionals
counseling if you need it men uh, get it consider seeking counseling or support groups to cope with the emotional challenges associated with the fertility issues so by adopting uh, healthy habits avoiding environmental toxins attending regular checkups maintaining a healthy weight and also seeking support when needed is very crucial so that the individual can proactively prevent complication complications related to male fertility issues so taking proactive steps to protect uh, uh, reproductive health can improve overall fertility outcomes and also promote overall well-being so guys uh, diet and nutrition exercise and weight management avoiding environmental toxins regular health checkups health happy habits uh, uh, protective measures seeking support uh, are very important in implementing these approaches which can improve your reproductive health as an individual and help you mitigate the risk of complications and optimize the chances of achieving successful conception and maintaining overall well-being so ma'am ladies and gentlemen that is a that is what we're, to, we're talking about male fertility and if there's video if you like if you've liked what we've discussed in this video kind of like the video by liking the video you get youtube to recommend us to larger population because we want this uh, information to reach as ma many people as possible guys i want to welcome you to our next video the channel is nazvin this is where we get to, to discuss matters medical in a simple language which you can understand you don't need to be a medical person to understand the the medical jargon because we don't use the jargon here, we discuss these things in a simple language which everyone can understand. So invite your uncle, invite your aunt, invite your grandma, grandparents, invite your sister, your sibling, so that we get to this kind of information which is really helpful to our well-being. Guys, welcome and uh, we love you very much. Peace guys, we love you very much.